One new technology which we used a lot in our research is the user-generated content site YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google, which means anyone can sign up for a Google account and upload their own content for free, provided they have the copyright. Initially, we decided to browse and find examples of existing film trailers to explore different ideas such as genre. We looked at films such as 4321, Friends with Benefits and The Woman in Black. The search feature of YouTube meant we could find films which we never previously would have known about, and this helped us to research specific themes such as drugs. It also helped us to research non-linear narratives, and we found a film called Memento, which we could analyse. The site gathers information about things you've searched for, and suggests items that it thinks you may be interested in. From this, we looked at the trailer for LOL, the teen film. This then linked us to looking at different music videos. YouTube is also very well established within the music industry. We used it to research different music videos so we could evaluate them for representation, particularly of women and young girls. We evaluated one of Justin Bieber's music videos and Taylor Swift 22 and I Knew You Were Trouble. Because the content is uploaded by users, it meant that many of the famous scenes and clips from films had already been uploaded by other people, which meant we didn't have to go through the entire film to find the shot we wanted. We therefore looked up the opening scene of Django to have research into credits, the comedic scene in Django to show difference in genre, and the shower scene from Psycho to evaluate the male gaze theory as proposed by Laura Mulvey. We then researched documentaries about filmmaking. Many of the videos had been made by media students and we used them to see different examples of shots and camera movements. This helped make our end trailer more interesting and also gave us examples and instructions on how to create the effects using the camera. The second video went into a lot more depth about how cameras work and we found this very useful. In the spirit of what Tim Berners-Lee calls true interactivity, we decided to make and upload our own videos as well as just taking them from the YouTube. We created the videos in iMovie then exported them to YouTube. Because of the technological convergence between new media, uploading the video to YouTube meant we could more easily share it with people and more easily add it to our blog. We created moved films of the iconography of crime, narrative theory and Foley sound experiments. A part of the new technology of YouTube which we found particularly useful was the annotations feature. We used it to annotate film trailers in real time so it was possible to see exactly what was being talked about while it was happening. We then discovered YouTube had its own inbuilt online video editor which meant we could edit and add music to videos purely within the site. We used this to create montages of typical sounds from the crime and coming of age genre. We obtained all the sound and images from the Creative Commons part of the website, which meant all the material was copyright free. Overall, YouTube was vital to our planning stage as we used it not only to research existing films, but also to present our findings in a way which was efficient and interactive.